And welcome to the News at 10. We begin tonight with continuing coverage of a two alarm fire that broke out in a downtown Boise concert venue. It caused nearby businesses to evacuate and traffic to stop. Alex Livingston is live at the knitting factory with our top story. Alex. Hey Kim, this scene here earlier this evening was pretty different than what it is now. To give you some perspective on all of the hands on deck, there are about 40 to 50 firefighters working on this fire. And as you can see behind me, the work still isn't done. I just found out that as far as damages are concerned, the knitting factory has interior damage and the neighboring businesses have smoke damage. I was literally picking up tickets. Two minutes later, there's fire trucks. Smoke, ringing fire alarms, and the sounds of shattered windows filled Bodo, all coming through the doors of the knitting factory. This is, this is just, I'm godsmacked right now. Like, this is just super, just blows me away. For many, the concert venue is a Boise staple. That's where I cut my teeth and started my DJ career. Where people go to enjoy music. I'm so glad it didn't happen during a show. So I'm glad that everybody's safe. Austin Gravely was set to host an event in just over a week. It was supposed to be kind of the last hurrah of the summer. There's still a lot of questions surrounding the fire, like how it started. Yeah, we understand there was some work going on, some construction work uh, going on. A uh, fire broke out. They called 911. And where exactly in the building it started. What they do know is that the fire was burning under the wood flooring and in the wall space. Now, for the employees and everyone who loved the knitting factory, the focus is finding ways to get the venue back on its feet, whenever that may be. Out of the ashes, we can build anew, but right now it's, it's tragic. As far as the businesses that are sharing walls with the knitting factory, we're told that they will have no power until further noticed, and that's just a safety precaution for the firefighters that are continuing to work on this fire. You can expect to see crews in this area for at least another few hours throughout the night. Again, still trying to pin down exactly where and how this fire started. Kim, back to you. A big fire indeed, and as that concert goer said in downtown Boise tonight, we're thankful that the fire didn't start when there was an event going on there, so that at least is some positive news. All right, exactly. Alex Livingston with the latest there in downtown Boise.